Bang, there it is. The solo, show us the Herba Mystica. W is in the chat, Chestnut is hashtag back. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. And today we get Video Squared, two build videos in the same day. We had the Venusaur preview earlier in the day, and now I'm here with a consistent and accessible solo build to take down Seven Star Venusaur, which ended up being a pretty awesome terror raid event. This is one of the more difficult raids, and the rewards are better than we've had in a long time. You can actually get Herba Mystica in a seven star terror raid and a good amount, check it out. In this one raid, I got three Herba Mystica. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first seven star terror raid to give any Herba Mystica. So this is one terror raid you are not going to want to skip, you're going to want to farm. And the best way to farm it is using this chestnut build. Let's get right into it. Thank you to all the Danimals who helped me put this build together live on stream, especially member of the Danimal High Council Squared, Stevo. thank you so much for your help. Here's a high level look at our chest mount build and the 7 star Venusaur we soloed with it. Underneath the Venusaur you'll see a support Blissey build, which is always a great choice against any special attacking terror raid. Here's the chest mount build for taking down 7 star Venusaur. It has a max attack EVs, max special defense EVs, and I gave it a careful nature to give it some additional special bulk while lowering its special attack because after all it's a physical attacking Pokemon. The ability Bulletproof is one of the keys to this build. This gives us immunity to Venusaur's move Sludge Bomb. That way it cannot hit us for any super effective damage, except on the one turn that it nullifies our abilities, which is why we have Spiky Shield. While our ability is nullified, we can use Spiky Shield to prevent any damage from Sludge Bomb. Seed Bomb is this build's main attacking move. It hits for really powerful, super effective grass type damage. Swords Dance powers up Seed Bomb, and last but not least, we have Mud Slap to charge our Terra Orb and reduce Venusaur's accuracy by one stage every turn, increasing our survivability. Chestnut uses the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. Time to see this starter on Starter Crime. We have a really set course of action that we can follow to get some really fast wins against Venusaur, which you're going to definitely want to do, because unlike previous 7-star Terra raids, Venusaur drops Herba Mystica and a lot of it. I got three Herba Mystica from the second time that I cleared with Chestnut. So we start off with two Mud Slaps. That way we charge our Terra Orb while lowering Venusaur's accuracy, giving us a little bit extra survivability in the early game. We could, we don't really care about the Amnesia because we're physical attacking, obviously because this thing spams Amnesia just like Seven Star Mewtwo did back in the day with Calm Mind. So here Venusaur is gonna clear uh, our stat changes and abilities. So we have to, let's wait for that to happen. Okay, so that's why we don't want to Swords Dance before that. And on this turn, when our ability is nullified, use Spiky Shield one time. This is the only time that Venusaur is going to nullify our abilities and stat boosts. After it, we don't have to worry. So that's two Mud Slaps we did, one Spiky Shield. Now we're gonna do one more Mud Slap. Then we'll use three Swords Dances and start swinging and then we just start doing just a big boy damage nice and fast again this is a great build to farm this raid this raid is going to be here till uh was it i think it's monday the fourth or fifth this upcoming monday 7 p.m eastern time so make sure you farm this raid for some urban mystica and all those experience candies so there's our third mud slap our terra orb fully charged at this point so then we can switch over to sword stance because again we have no worries about getting our stat changes nullified at this point. We can pretty much just chill. Venusaur is not going to be doing too much damage because it can't use Sludge Bomb at us thanks to the Bulletproof ability as we talked about earlier. So while we're Swords Dancing, I want to know what Pokemon you are using to take down 7-star Venusaur. Another one that we're working on is Weavile. Maybe we'll show it to you. I do have faith that Venusaur could solo itself. It does, it, because the Amnesia can work against it as well. So we'll see, it, all, it gets Swords Dance. So Venusaur Squared is still very possible. So we're through two Swords Dances at this point. Once we get the third, then we can start swinging. And I am recording this on Pokemon Day. So let's talk about that as well. Let me know in the comments if you thought uh, Pokemon Day met your expectations, exceeded it, or failed. I was hoping for a little bit more exciting of an event terror raid, maybe something like the Zera Aura terror raids and, Scar and Sword and Shield. But you know what, I'll take it, I'll take it. And so right now, we have our three Swords Dances, our attack is plus six, we're ready to rock and roll. So from here on out, all we have to do is just press A 
you seed bomb and we win. So I have the optimal allies at this point. Uh, so I have the Arbalovo, which gives a 50% damage boost. So I'm going to be doing more damage than you usually will. But that's fine because we're still going to have plenty of time. You don't need the Arbalova. And also, it's very optimal with the Belly Bolt because Belly Bolt will use Light Screen. So that gives me some uh, additional survivability. But as you'll see, I'm still not getting close to knocked out. So I, this just happened to be the teammates we have up here just to demonstrate it. But it is not teammate dependent. Because we'll see, we only, we only, we, I don't think we have the light screen on at this time. No, we don't, that's without light screen still. So we only get the light screen in the early game. So now at this point, it just use Seed Bomb and just keep attacking. There is no notification, which funny enough, reminds me of the seven star chestnut terror raid. But the chest, the seven star chestnut terror raid never cleared its own debuffs. So you could just acid spray it three times early and then it's be set for the whole game similar case here except for now chestnut is benefiting it from it because venusaur only clears our debuffs once so we just set up the swords dance three times set it and forget it maybe four more seed bombs here on out and we're good to go because we should be healing now and get us out of <laughs> out of crit range i don't know why the camera just changed that kind of slid me up a little bit dramatic angle <laughs> so yeah just keep swinging there we go. Now now we start to do a million damage. There's another Belly Bolt light screen. So again, if you're having trouble, Belly Bolt, Arbalova, those are going to be your best friends. Those are the two most optimal allies you can have. That's, that's a lot of damage. Should take one more Shell Bell, and we end this Pokemon Day with a big win. So this is going to do it here. Unless, or is this gonna leave it? It's gonna leave a sliver. Don't leave a sliver. We want the big dramatic finish. That way you can watch it in the cold open and be like, yes! And then see it again here. That's a little meta comment, breaking the fourth wall. Ah! No, it's not. It's not gonna. It's not even close. It's not even close. That's so disappointing. I was I was fired up about that. Oh well, we'll just press A again. So you'll see, we are we still do have a couple turns extra. So even without the Arbalovo, we'd still have a turn to do an extra Seed Bomb or two if need be. And we never got close to getting knocked out, so I don't think it's AI ally dependent. But that's going to wrap it up. Chestnut, so yes, easily solo 7-star Venusaur. Put on the board, starter on starter crime. Bang, there it is. The solo, show us the Herba Mystica. W is in the chat, Chestnut is hashtag back. Now it's time to catch it. Oh, what Pokeball are you catching your 7-star Venusaur in? I'm going with the Safari Ball. We're throwing it back to Gen 1. Venusaur out in the jungle, even though you can't catch in the Safari Zone. I like the colors. Let me know what you're catching your 7-star Venusaur in. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a com- If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Seed Bomb on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Venusaur season.